I am at the Commodity Classic in San Antonio, and this is the trade show that just got started here this morning. So we got quite a bit of activity going on. This is where the uh, national corn growers, soybean growers, wheat growers, and sorghum growers all come together for their annual meetings and uh, combined, obviously, trade show. So I'm just going to do a little walkthrough as I head back to the New Holland booth, one of our primary sponsors for coverage on agwired.com. And as you can see, it's a pretty good sized show we got here. I think I've heard we've got approximately 7,100 uh, people attending. Not sure how many of those are farmers, but uh, uh, probably a, a majority. And we'll just walk on down the hall if we can get through. Oops, sorry. Hello. You're uh, being recorded right now, just so you know. But this is Mike Adams with AgriTalk. And uh, at 4 o'clock, what he refers to at the New Holland booth, they're going to give away a, a work, uh, was it a Workmaster 35 uh, tractor. So we'll see you there. <laughs> this is not my first rodeo here, so. We might run into a few more stops before we get to our destination. Many of these companies are sponsors of ours at one time or another throughout the year. So it's great to have them all come together for us so that we can come visit with them. I have no idea what's going on here. That's Ken Root, I know that. And then it blows from this direction. And you never open both doors of your pickup at the same time. Because if you do, everything that's inside will eat. Technological geeks. I'm recording right now, so now I've got you on video. Looks a little stupid, but it works every time. Well, I appreciate you talking to us. All right, Ken. Doing a good job, as usual. And we are getting closer to where we need to be. But we're not there yet. As you're going to see here, this is kind of uh, turns into a family affair at times. Some future farmers there. Oh, here's the balloon man. Okay, I'm going to take it back off. There, oh, oh, I wish I had that much hair. Look at that. <laughs> That's a little hair trap part right there. <laughs> Gets me every time, you know. Say it's a little thing it's a balloon. <laughs> oh my goodness, is Google not recording me? How did you know? <laughs> this would be the first time. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube later today. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So who's the, who's I'm the, in this guy's eyeball. Who, who's the balloon man? Huh? Okay. okay, well, I'm here with the bear. And, and your name is? My name's Daniel Lusk out of Indianapolis. All right. Yeah, I own an entertainment agency there, and uh, bear brings us out to help spread Great. the fun. With yes. All of our we. I will. I am looking forward to attending their um, opening of their bee center in a, yes, in should, April. We should be there uh, making the balloons. I, I think I'm flying out for that. Oh well, I'll see you there. That'd be fantastic. All right. Thank you. All right. I got distracted, so I'm going to keep going here. We're heading towards New Holland. We're seriously. We are. It just may not seem like it right now. <laughs> I don't know how many uh, exhibits we have here at this trade show, but uh, it's 
quite a few, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. And a lot more precision agriculture on display, like here at uh, the Raven booth. But there up ahead, we see the yellow and the blue of New Holland agriculture and New Holland construction. Of course, this is focused on primarily the agricultural side. So I'm going to come in here and have a little conversation. Just wanted to uh, give you an idea of what it's like here at Commodity Classic 2014. So from San Antonio, I'm Chuck Zimmerman.